Hi, my name is Kelly. I work with the Alachua County Land Conservation Program. And today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about chinaberry. And this is Melia azaderac. Chinaberry is native to Asia. It was introduced around 1830 as an ornamental tree in South Carolina and Georgia. It is a deciduous tree to 50 feet tall, but it can flower and produce fruit when it's the size of a shrub. It produces suckers from the roots and can form thickets. This is an older, larger china berry, and it tends to have furrowed bark, whereas the younger trees have a very smooth bark with dots. The twigs are stout with purplish dotted bark. China berry leaves are alternate and two to three times compound. They are large, up to a foot and a half long, with long petioles. The leaflets are pungent when crushed. The leaves are dark green on top, often with sparse hairs along the veins. They are lighter green underneath. The leaves have serrated margins. China berry flowers in the spring, and the flowers are small but showy and fragrant. Panicles arrive from the leaf axils, and the flowers have five lilac petals with stalks of stamens united into a dark purple tube. China berry produces many fruits, which often persist after the leaves have fallen. They are on stalks, yellow or yellowish green, and contain a single seed. Fruits are poisonous to humans and some other mammals, but are dispersed by a variety of songbirds. China berry is invasive in Florida. Learn to identify it.